Sure. I'll be good. We're here at the Dayland Mall in Miami. We're at JCPenney. Tap out. That's the thing. Look at the apparel. Look at this guy. Look at this WWE Star Sheamus, man. I was there trying to couple the poses there, thinking you're going to take a photograph instead of doing a video. So what's happening? We're doing good. So, so what, what kept it? you? First of all, all right, here, go you kind of race this. Yes. No, right? go ahead. No, I'm not racing it. I'm not racing it. Upstairs, spread a food laid out for you to welcome you in before we do this historic signing here in Miami for the awesome gear that is tap out. And what happens? Irish time, fella. You're on Irish time. Actually, I'm on. I'm Spanish time, is what I oh, call Spanish it. Time. Yes, it's it is. Spanish time, it's Irish the latest. Time. Well, I say either way. Australian time. It took so long to get there. <laughs> yes, it was. Traffic was a mess, Seamus. But you know what? That's Don't not blame traffic. The traffic. That's on Don't me. Blame That's the right. It's on me. That's right. No, no, no. It was on all on me. But I'm glad I was able to get here. Because Seamus, I was watching with the fans. You're you're awesome. First of all, that's number one. Number Thanks two, what is it like meeting the fans and doing things like this? It's all about the fans, you know. Like we, you know, portray characters in TV and WWE. But for me, when I get a chance to like come close in person with it, you know the, the people who are literally the core of our existence, the reason why WWE exists, because of all these awesome fans. So to get a chance to meet them, to get a chance to sit down with them, to like, spend time with them, not just rush them along, has always been a very important thing. Um, William Regal hammered at home when I first started the WWE in ECW in 2009. It was, I started on the road with uh, Regal and he just uh, explained the importance of that, you know, finding out the people's names, writing down their names, you know, get personal with them because as I said, without those fans, there truly is no WWE. And I'll tell you what, Seamus, I saw all the smiles, they were all bright going for you. I know you did Raw last night. Yeah. Dude, you're like 24/7. I mean, this a, is this is your thing. I've done a lot of traveling. Like I've been uh, the, the Turtles movie coming out. I've been back to Fort Ireland. I was in New York for that. I bounced over to Australia, Melbourne, to uh, do some media because we're over there in August for a uh, tour. Came back uh, to the West Coast and I had went to a wedding in Ireland. I got back on Sunday night. Did raw last night. Drove down this morning. I'm not sure what day it is, but it just when you have a lot of fun doing this and a lot of fun and passion with WWE it just it makes it easier it's a fun job you can't complain no one listens to complain anyway if I was complaining my mom would just tell me to shoot up so uh, I learned that pretty fast but I uh, said so we're out here in Miami we're here promoting this awesome new uh, the awesome new workout gear tap out which, yeah this is cool right here I like yeah. this Dude, what do you, you know. think of this now huh it's actually not bad, you know what I mean? I, I, I might just put that on the wall, you know? It's very you gotta take one home, right? Famous. I'd love to take one home, you know? Because I'm so egotistic, I love, love looking at myself when I get home. Uh, what do you think of the, the tap hawk out is on point. Yeah, the yeah. hawk's on oh. point, obviously. You know what I mean? Beautiful head of hair there. Anyone who just likes it off or calls that stupid, literally have too many, uh, you know, insecurities themselves. But um, no, uh, WB is part now with tap out, and it's, uh, to me, it's, all the guys are wearing it's great gear, especially for like the fact that all of us WWE superstars are training is part of our life, not just being in the ring, but also in the gym. And so don't get more durable, more motivational gear than this. I love working out in it. And as I said, anything that'll help me push myself to the next level of my workout, I might bring my physique along. And you can't do better than the tap out gear, you know what I mean? Especially with me, I put all my gear through, through the motions, you know what I mean? Like literally like if something's gonna last uh, with me and my workouts and the way I, I move around and wreck my stuff, then the fact that this does is always a good thing. So it's it's here to stay. Lastly, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. Big star of that. What was that whole process like, and what what kind of reaction are you getting from your fans and everybody about that movie? You know, it's weird. I've had a lot of people, like a lot of kids, come to me. Like even last night, like uh, after the show on Raw, there was a lot of kids who, you know, they're generally not WWE fans, but they're fans of Turtles and recognize me from the movie. So it's, it was a really cool experience getting them. Like I came back off the road after an injury, a hand and neck injury, and I went straight back in with a new, the new look, the new kind of character. And uh, I was about to bounce from there to New York to, to film the movie, so it was non stop for me, you know. But uh, just getting to see myself on the screen as I portraying that character, I was literally so nervous, to be honest with you, because I was like, portraying such an iconic character as Rocksteady, it was like a big deal. I thought, like, if I messed that up, there'd be people inside the door with pitchforks and bleeding torches, you know what I mean? You're real Rocksteady! They're serious about that they're stuff, very, you know that, yes. They're very serious. But I met Kevin Eastman, too, who's the creator of Eternals, and he said uh, he loved the, the, the role they played and the character played, so. Massive relief, but uh, great to be a part of it. And hopefully, you know, we're pushing for a spin-off. Me and me and Gary Anthony Williams would love our own to, uh, Bebop Rocksteady movie. You know what I mean? We stole the show. Let's steal another movie. Paramount, Michael Bay, if you're watching. You know what I'm saying? Good investments. Can't go wrong with the two lads. Rocksteady and Bebop destroy everything. Just ask Kevin Eastman. Seamus, you're the best. Of course.